All right. So from y equals negative x squared minus 2, we had previously stated that the vertex was at 0, comma, negative 2. And so that's plotted right here. We also noted that this negative told us it was concave down. And our axis of symmetry is at x equals 0. Do I have enough information to plot my parabola? No. I'm hearing some no's, Alexis, why no? I only have one point, yeah. So now I've got to go plug in some values to find my other points. So I'm going to plug in, I already know what at, when x is equal to 0, I get negative 2. What happens when x is equal to 1? I'm going to get negative 3. And I'll show you. It's okay. So y is equal to negative times my x value is 1 squared minus 2. 1 squared is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Minus 2 is equal to negative 3. So now I can plot that. 1 comma negative 3. And because this is my axis of symmetry, my axis of symmetry is x equals 0, I can plot negative 1, 3, negative 3 on the other side. What happens when x is equal to 3? What will my y equal? <coughs> so I got y is equal to negative 11. Let's see. 3 squared is 9 times negative 1 is negative 9 minus 2 is equal to negative 11. <laughs> and because my axis of symmetry is x equals 0, I can also say negative 3 comma 11 is a point on my parabola. Now looking at this parabola, do I have any roots? Yes. I hear some no's. Why don't I have any roots? It does not cross the x-axis, therefore there are no roots. Alright, let's look at one more. I wrote down here x minus 4 squared plus 1. We're going to go back to that one. So y equals x minus 4 squared plus 1. This looks again like my vertex form. What's my a value? It's only one, yep. My h value? Is my h value a positive four or a negative four? Is it a negative four? It's a positive four. Remember, it's written as x minus h. So if this x minus 4, that means our h stays positive. 
because it's being subtracted. If it were x plus 4, then my h would be a negative. Okay. But this is a positive, x minus 4. What's my k? It's 1. So my vertex, my vertex is h comma k. So my vertex is 4 comma 1. Is my equation concave up or concave down? It's concave up. And where is my axis of symmetry on this one? I heard it as a whisper. X equals 4. So your axis of symmetry is always the x value of your vertex. That's where your axis of symmetry occurs. So with this information, I'm going to now plot it. So I have my vertex is 4, 1. And that's also my axis of symmetry. And I know it's concave up. So if this is where my vertex is, do I have any roots? I don't have any roots again. And I'm going to start plugging in some points. Because I know if I plug in 4, I'm going to get 1. What happens when I plug in 5? I'm going to get 2. So I get 2 on this side and on this side. If I plug in 2 for my x value, what do I get? Do I get 5? 2 minus 4? Yep. I'll get 5. And I get it on this side too for when x is equal to 6. 